starting off with this head shape here. And I'm going to kind of build in the hair as I see it as I'm building the head so that we are getting the head shape in general. So we've got some shape here. Now let's get some shape into the, the features. So the eyes are going to be in here somewhere. And I just like to kind of, we're, they're in the middle of the head. And since she's facing forward, uh, we're going to just kind of draft where that nose is. And I know this looks really structured, but this is really what we need to figure out so we get the actual placement of and likewise with her eyes we're going to kind of situate them in here somewhere so I'm going to put her eyes up a little higher and her eye up here somewhere and then figuring out where those lips will be. The mouth is usually situated halfway between the nose and the chin. Now we want to pay attention to the spaces between where things are placed. So once we get that in, we need to start putting in the mass tone, like where we see general values. Part of adding the mass tone is finding the, where the values are under and around the nose on the left side of the face and the actual pigmentation of the mouth under the eyes. And once we finish under the eyes, we're going to define shapes more clearly, accurately as we see them. Once we've established a good amount of value, we can continue developing the details over top of the value that's been established, refining form, giving a definition. Adding values under the chin and neck will give more modeling, add definition, when we get to the shirt and the hair, we see a direct value that's darker than the rest of the values, and we add them there appropriately. We continue developing the side of the face, giving it more shape and form, making the features look more like the subject, continuing defining and modeling each individual form.
continuing to add value and texture to the hair. We'll accentuate modeling the shape of the head. Hair appears in individual gathers, not in individual strands. They are shapes, and we add marks in the direction that the strands are going. As you can see here, we're fine tuning some of the details in the eye and then coming back to the hair and giving the hair some details. Now you can use your eraser to add individual strands where highlights might appear in the hair where light is reflecting on the individual strands and just moving in the direction of the hair. some of the final details on the nose, just giving it more definition. Careful not to add any lines, this isn't a linear drawing, we're representing values as we see them. As you can see, I'm repairing the neck here, the width of the neck was too large, and putting in an edge there but as you can see, I'm blending it in to give it a physical value instead of making a line. So it's not a linear edge, it is a value. And the value butts up against another value. some finishing touches on this collar uh, as it butts up against the edge of the neck and we are coming to an end here.